Hello and welcome to, uh, well it's not really a marble, we're going to do a pendant today. Uh, it's May the 18th, so this would be pendant 051808. I'm trying to uh, branch out and do uh, some extra things so I can uh, build up an inventory of things other than just marbles to take to craft shows. And I've been doing some pendant work and uh, this is just a little something I came up with that people seem to like and I thought I'd share it with you. Uh, it's um, a, a raked horn pendant. It's kind of a takeoff of like the Italian horn good luck pendant. We're going to start with a 8 mil clear rod and we're just going to put a cap on the end of it and then we're going to draw rings around it and then rake the rings and then twist it off into a, a horn shape. I'm going to be using black and yellow and white. I'm working out of western Pennsylvania so uh, I know my market and I can sell these colors very easily. A lot of Penn fans right now will buy anything that's black and yellow. So using my knowledge of the market I'm choosing my colors accordingly. First up, we'll put a cap on the end here and start drawing our rings. Alright, here we just have a, a black on the end cap, then a wide yellow, thin white, thin black, thin yellow, wide black, just various widths of contrasting colors. You know, you can make it whatever. Wherever you live, you know, choose a football team, basketball team, hockey team, whatever. Use their colors. Makes it easier to sell. We're just going to melt these uh, rings all down. And then we will use the scratch all to rake down the length of the rod. Creating our rake. Alright, everything's melted together. Now using a very fine flame, I'm going to heat one little edge and then rake down that edge. And that's what it looks like raked. See that? Just pulled it down. We'll do the same thing on the opposite side. We'll do this four times. Alright, we've done our four rakes. Now we're just going to kind of melt this in, shape it up. And I go uh, ahead and I'll put the hook on the end on the top here. And then we'll pull it and twist it. And this is what it looks like with the four rakes. Alright, I put a little loop on the end there. It's a little clear loop. I'll put a punny up to that and we will pull and twist and terminate into a horn, into a, a shape. Alright, here we have uh, pulled and twisted and terminated. I'm going to try and do this with one hand while shooting with the left hand. So, and it, With an elbow down position and a smaller flame, I need a little bit smaller flame. I'm going to heat up right around the base until it starts to tilt. It'll tilt the, the glass and this will be my curl. So there it's starting to tilt. Now, I'll let it tilt. I'll cool it a little bit, move down, and just kind of use the flame to curl. Let gravity kind of curl it down and around. I'm going to have to put the camera down to finish this. But I'll show you what it looks like in a second. And there's what it looks like with the curl that I tried to show you how to do. It's really relatively easy. You just move down the, the length of the horn and let gravity kind of just twist it. Got to fire polish this up, stick it in the kiln, and uh, I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out. But that's basically it. Your horn. Put it on a leather chain and you're good to go. A leather, well it's not a chain I guess, strap, cord, there you go. 
And there's what she looks like, fresh out of the kiln. That's a one inch mold, so that's about, a, about an inch and a half long. So, simple little easy design. Stick it on a leather cord, sell it for 15, 20 bucks. Something different to have at the craft show besides marbles. I'm just trying to get a little variation in there. Thanks for watching. Go Pens!